Hi, Steve Cooper, and this is another short video in the series of videos that I've been doing through the, all through lockdowns uh, up right up to now, uh, and which I shall continue doing for the foreseeable future to support police officers who are going for promotion in UK police forces to Sergeant Inspector and Chief Inspector rank. Now, this video is about um, diversity, uh, equality, and inclusion, DEI. And the reason I've decided to do this board um, uh, aspect today is because I've previously blogged about uh, and alluded to the postcode lottery of police promotion processes and how the goalposts move and how different aspects and elements of promotion selection processes kick in across different times um, uh, in different forces for different ranks. So this is very much on the same vein really and part of my job as a coach mentor is to keep people uh, who are aspiring promotion candidates informed and aware. I'm very well aware you're busy uh, working shifts and you've got other commitments around families, commuting, etc. So little videos like this can help support your preparation. And it's in relation to uh, diversity, equality and um, inclusion that I wanted to talk to you today. And the reason that's, uh, that I've started to do that or started to think about that is because I've recently been supporting <coughs> people through uh, boards uh, that have placed a greater emphasis upon uh, diversity, equality and inclusion, DEI, uh, at, to the point where uh, at least one force has now got a pre-board, so a pre-promotion board, before your promotion board, to focus around questions and issues and topics to do with diversity, uh, equality, inclusion. Now, the reason for that uh, is because it is so important to policing, to the trust and confidence of individuals within the organisation, uh, to the public, to public trust and uh, issues around policing legitimacy. Um, and so you can see why these developments have happened, uh, taking diversity, equality and inclusion more uh, seriously <clears throat> is unsurprising if you want to get the best out of people and the best out of your most important valuable resource uh, as a policing senior police leader uh, which is your people so to creating that <coughs> excuse me creating that environment where people can thrive and innovate and excel uh, whoever they are and to be themselves is a, a really good uh, aspiration for any any leader so I can see why um, this change has been implemented um, so when you go into your um, pre-board if you like the focus is around uh, questions um, to do with diversity and equality and inclusion and then you go into your your main promotion board where uh, you'll do your six questions around the CBF competency based so I just wanted to kind of make that clear that that's what's happening it would be surprising to me if it didn't catch on in at least um, you know a, a lot more forces uh, as certainly as part of a, a promotion selection process so this isn't about um, me sitting here and telling you what the good answers are or how to respond well to the questions that might come across <clears throat> but it's more about um, raising some questions for you now so that you can prepare <coughs> excuse me, uh, effectively uh, ahead of any process, whether or not you have a DEI pre-board. Because this isn't just about preparing for a set test or an expected or anticipated test. It's about preparing you holistically uh, as a leader, manager, supervisor to tune in, to hit the ground running with these issues and to start raising your personal awareness um, uh, around and your social awareness around these issues and if you need some incentive then you know clearly forces are looking to focus more upon this uh, in relation to selecting uh, promotion candidates um, it used to be <coughs> excuse me I'm just getting over a bit of a chest infection uh, it used to be that uh, you know uh, it, it's not unusual for superintendents processes and above to, to have featured questions around this because it's important for the organisation and those, those questions, that focus, that emphasis has, has dropped down through chief inspector um, 
boards and selection processes is it's now firmly arriving and sitting at inspector so within the federated ranks it wouldn't surprise me if it's going to knock on and play out through sergeant's promotion processes so an early heads up there so um I, i'm just going to pose some questions to you that i think might be helpful to you in terms of preparing of course you can download my digital promotion toolkit uh, for um, uh, constable to sergeant so sergeant's promotion toolkit uh, or inspector and chief inspectors digital toolkit and there's also a four hour um, a downloadable promotion masterclass with me suited booted serious head on uh, talking about these issues to um, support you in you know getting to deliver the best version of yourself you can on the day uh, of your opportunity for a promotion board or selection process which is what the name of the game is really um, <clears throat> so coming back to these issues around diversity equality and inclusion um, I'm not going to um, go through those terms, but I think it's important for you. I'll go through one, which is I've, I've got right here, right by the side of my camera here anyway, as a note. Uh, equality is the fair and inclusive framework that enables opportunity, access, participation and contribution. Now, you'll find lots of different meanings for these terms, diversity, equality, inclusion. Um, and there'll, there'll be language that crops up around protected characteristics, words like intersectionality, um, and it's not for me to sit here and tell you what those words mean. Um, but what I will do is, <clears throat> through this video, just raise some questions that might help you. So, you know, what does the term diversity mean to you? If you're seriously looking to walk into a promotion selection process without knowing or having an idea what the answer to that is or a response to that, then you're probably not match fit for the process. Uh, and it's a good place to start. What do these terms mean to you? So what does equality, so I've alluded to one meaning. Um, <clears throat> what does diversity mean to you? Why is diversity important in policing? Now, I'm saying this to you on camera now in this video, but just imagine all of these questions are put to you by a promotion board in a DEI interview, pre-board. Um, and just imagine now the questions that you're getting. So. Um, the reason I'm telling you is so that you can kind of get your, your, your thinking cap on and start working through and thinking through these issues. So why is diversity uh, important in policing? What are the protected characteristics? There are nine of them. So what do we mean by that term? Um, which of those do you know? Uh, which don't you know? Which ones do you need to do some more thinking or some work or refresh your memory around? Because if you're putting yourself forward to be a team leader or a leader of teams or someone who's going to influence and motivate and inspire people you need to understand them as well you need to understand the issues and you need to understand how people feel when you are asking them to do things when you're trying to explain things <clears throat> where you're using language that you've always used and it's always got you to where you are and you don't see any reason to change so it's about being open-minded uh, and understanding that you know words like intersectionality um, and, 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 and words like that have come, the term has come in for, um, you know, uh, criticism uh, and um, resistance around it because it has its kind of foundations in academic kind of um, origins. But have a look up on that word, what that means, and then put yourself in the position of someone who experiences, um, you know, parallel ways, different ways <coughs> of uh, discrimination. Uh, in lots of different ways that you don't even begin to even understand or think about because you've never heard about it you've never made any effort to understand it so therefore you might miss it as a policing leader a manager supervisor when it's right in front of you and uh, you probably haven't got that sense of awareness personally or socially to understand it and that's what we're talking about it's trying to take out all the needs of all your team all the teams all the people you work with in partnerships and just to be a bit savvy as a leader uh, and to allow people to, to flourish and uh, to be inclusive of, of people's needs and concerns. So what are the protected characteristics? There's nine of them. Uh, you should really be able to kind of um, um, talk about those and understand them and, uh, and how you can support people with one or more protected characteristics who you may well uh, have on your teams or may well currently be working with. Um, <clears throat> 
what is the relevant legislation because none of this is choice you don't have a choice in any of this it's a, as, a, as a leader as a manager a supervisor there is some legislation there the equality act 2010 is the underpinning um, legislation there is other legislation so have a look at that uh, have a look at the equality standard have a look at what your force equality objectives are or inclusivity objectives um, they will be as part of your force literature um, have a look at the government um, strategy uh, on diversity and inclusion um, through 2018 to 2025 I think it is you can find that on Google straight away that'll give you a good overview and you can really start getting in and making some traction and start developing your own awareness as a uh, aspiring promotion candidate into how these issues play out how these issues affect and what the expectations will be upon you around these issues and clearly the first one is a basic standard and uh, knowledge of, of, of understanding around these issues because if you've chosen not to become aware of these or to heighten your awareness around these then you're going to be on, uh, on difficult ground if you like to be able to respond meaningfully and effectively to promotion uh, interview questions which may be quite simple so you know why is it important that the police service reflects uh, and represents the community it serves is, is, is another question <coughs> um, there, there, there's lots and lots of um, aspects around this that if you do the work uh, have a look at my as I say have a look at my digital downloadable um, toolkit uh, you can hit the ground running straight away with that it covers not only um, you know diversity quality inclusion um, have a think about the questions I've just asked you um, have a look at the government strategy um, have a look at different so UK sports have a, a diversity and inclusion strategy so you can really start to kind of make quick um, gains if you like and traction and momentum in the right direction around this and uh, <clears throat> as I say I do I've done videos I've done blogs I've done um, uh, so YouTube videos like this uh, free blogs uh, a podcast so I'm going to be covering these issues uh, on all of those um, areas and one thing I just wanted to do before I kind of bring this this uh, little video to a close is just to read you out something I'm quite proud of uh, because I kind of try and move with the times I try and move with the needs of the uh, individuals who contact me for um, support for coaching and mentoring around these issues and this one arrived um, fairly recently and uh, it's from a newly promoted inspector who has um, uh, been kind enough to send me this this feedback so uh, hi Steve I just wanted to say a big thank you for all your help guidance and support um, not only did you get me through my sergeant board five years ago but I got the call uh, today to say that I passed my inspector board your videos over lockdown were brilliant in setting out everything clearly to me around the CBF so uh, the individuals alluding to um, I think it's over 50 55 videos now this is probably 56 or 57 that I've done through the lockdown period uh, free accessible on YouTube so just subscribe and you'll get notified um, when I do new ones like this and that's important particularly if you are on a on a roll if you like preparing ahead of a process you wouldn't want to miss one of these um, so I tried to <coughs> excuse me provide these around uh, I watched every one of the videos more than once <coughs> and then I bought your promotion guides which helped me settle and make me believe I could do it um, your phone call to put me at ease um, that I was on the right track with my evidence and your uh, advice to calm down and to speak at half pace worked um, to have that belief in myself uh, and that confidence and when I did that I was able to remember your ethics video uh, which supported me in my diversity ethics and inclusion board um, as well as my subsequent board so I mean that's that's just something that I'm quite proud of that's why I do these videos um, I'm semi-retired I, I can sit at home in my conservatory like this and share some food and thought to, to camera which I know is valuable and supportive to individuals and uh, depending on your attitude and uh, and to preparing you can download a full digital toolkit and hit the ground running um, or just mop up all the free guides and advice I give and I wish you the very best with it so uh, until the next one, I wish you all the best, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.